Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we were plundering for chests. Now, we actually do need to get all of the chests to get 100%, and we're going to try. I don't want to guarantee anything, because there are missable chests, but we will do what we can. Anyway, so we've got the chest there, we've got the chest downstairs, that's two, there's three to get. Now, what we can do... We can look through this. I wonder what this handkerchief is for. Oh, I think there's something underneath. Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoops. The handkerchief was there to cover a hole in Ika's room. Yeah. Uh, uh? <gasps> Who's there? Take that, you creep. Oh. Ow, my eye! Faze, what are you doing peeking into my room? <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. I can't believe you'd spy on me like that. Get out of here. But, 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 I was just looking under this handkerchief. I didn't know. You probably just put it there to draw people's attention. Ah. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we get bad points for that or whatever, but surely she should have repaired that hole. I don't know. I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> I don't know why there would be a perfect hole in leading into her bedroom. Let's not think too much about that, actually. Uh, anyway, uh, let's keep looking for things to explore. Right. Oh, hello. Oh, welcome back, Vice. So, you're Fina. It's very nice to meet you. The pleasure is all mine, I hope. I am I hope I'm not intruding. Oh, don't be silly. It's been a long time since we've had guests. Well, I have to finish cooking dinner. Go outside and have some fun. I'll call you when it's ready. Hey, guys. Yeah, sorry about the whole perving on you, uh, Ika. Sorry to have kept you waiting. I was just fixing my hair. Hey, the sunset outside is beautiful. Why don't we go outside and check it out? Well, we still have some time before dinner. Why not? Okay, great. Come on. Let's get a great fruit view from up top of Lock Lookout Island. Man, if I could talk today, that'd be fantastic. Right, let's rummage around and see what we can find. So this is Vase's bed. It's my bed, but I've been out sailing with my dad a lot recently. So I really only sleep in it on occasion. Yeah, um... It's actually quite a nice little room here, to be honest. Very nice and cosy. Um, so, there's nothing there. We do have this, though. <laughs> and this should lead us back down to that chest. Because you have to get all of the chests to get 100%. You received a moonberry. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Frickin' Moonberry. Nice little hidey hole they have there. Okay. Now, let's head on upstairs. So that's three chests down. There's still one to get. Uh, two to get, I believe. And I think they're both up here. This is a lovely scene up here. I like this. Let's head up here. This is a very, very long, uh, <laughs> long ladder, by the way. It's not quite Metal Gear Solid 3 long, but it, you know, it's, it's enough. Not sure I trust myself falling off this one, but, you know. I mean, I don't have to climb it, so there's that. Right, what's up here then? I love this scene. It's so beautiful. I love it up here. It's so peaceful. I come up here to relax and watch the sunset. 
When I'm up here, I often wonder what Lloyd, what Lloyd's, what Lloyd's, yeah, oh, wonderful, wonderful, what Lloyd's about the story. Um, I often wonder what lies beyond the sky, beyond the sunset. Beyond the sky? Some say there's monsters, others say there's a maelstrom that either blows ships away or pulls them in, and they're never seen again. And there are others that just say it's impossible. What are you not telling us, Fina? I want to know what's out there. Besides, I don't like giving up on anything without giving it my best shot. Aww. Someday, I'll be the captain of my own ship. And I'll go beyond that sunset, and I'll see what's out there. Yeah, that's um, <clears throat> probably not that far away. Faze, just saying. Wow, I bet if you could go beyond the sunset, the sky would look even more beautiful. Hey! That was a moonstone! A moonstone? Ooh! It landed on that island over there! I think that's Shrine Island! It's been a long time since we've seen a moonstone fall. I don't understand. That was a moonstone? That's right. Fina, you've heard of moonstones before, right? They're pieces of rock that fall from the moons. They usually crash land on the islands. They're, re they're a really powerful source of energy too. We use them for all sorts of things. They power our ships and we also forge weapons out of them. Uh, oh yes, uh, I know of moonstones. But it's my first time seeing a moonstone actually fall from the sky. Vase, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, we should try and recover the moonstone. Let's go, first thing tomorrow. Vase, Aika, Fina. Dinner is ready, come down. Get your dinner, you bastards. Let's go, Fina. You're gonna eat with us, right? We're so lucky. I love your mum's cooking. Let's go eat whilst it's still hot. Yes, thank you for your gracious offer. Yeah, that's cool and all, guys, but I want to um, look for treasure chests. <clears throat> the moon. Well, one of the moons. I think there's six moons. I'm not sure. Get fed and we get to sleep. Happy days, man. Doesn't get much better than that. Polish it off with the coffee, and we're all good. <clears throat> Face bears. Good morning. We're going to Shrine Island today, right? Dad, ah, she's always so cheerful. Yeah, I'll be right down. Give me a second. I mean, come on. You've got Ika or Fina. Basically, like who the hell would choose Fina? Seriously, Ika is just badass. I'm not not saying that you know, Vase has the choice or anything like that. I'm not talking about slavery and ownership here. I'm just just saying. Vase, here, take this. It's your share of the loot from yesterday's raid. You received a purple moonstone. That moonstone has been processed already, so you should be able to use it on your weapons. Now you'll be able to change the color of your weapon to purple and give it the power of ice in battle. I see. Thanks, Dad. I'll use it carefully. One more thing. When you win a fight, you'll be awarded magic experience in the color of the magic that you have equipped on your weapon. When you accumulate a certain amount of magic experience, you will learn a new spell. So if there is a spell that you want to learn, by changing the color of your weapon to match whatever type of magic you want to learn, you can learn it much faster. You can easily change the color of your weapon using the equip command or by pressing the Y button during battles. Make good use of it. Yeah, so um, there are definitely some spells that we're going to want everybody to have, like basic curing spells and things like that, but I'll, I'll be grinding that out in my own time. Thank you so much for everything you've done. First, you rescued me. Then you let me stay in your home. I am eternally grateful. Cool. I suppose you'll be leaving now to get that moonstone that fell from yesterday. Please do be careful. Good luck. 
Yeah, um, don't forget, whenever you get back to your obviously wealthy empire, you owe me some loot. What's the matter, Vase? Did you want me to explain moonstones? Uh, what moonstones do and how they affect your weapons again? Uh, no, that, that's cool, Dad. No thanks. Uh, I think I've got it. If there's anything I don't know, I'll probably find out during battle. <laughs> Just be careful and use moonstones carefully. Any good moonstone isn't... Oh, a good moonstone isn't easy to find. Yeah, cool, Dad. Hey, Mum. Thanks for the chow. Vase, if you're going to try an island, I want you to take this with you. I've included enough of both you and Ica. You received two uh, Sacrius crystals. If you ever need to take a break, don't be afraid to come back home and rest up. You shouldn't push yourselves too hard. Thanks, Mum. Good morning, Fina. Did you sleep well? Yes, thank you. You know, we'll be heading over to Shrine Island to get that moonstone in a few minutes. You can stay here and relax at my place if you want. That'll be fine, thank you. Alright, Vase, let's get going. The boat is on the upper dock, and it's ready to go. Sweet! But we got chests to find, yo! Give me the chests. Uh, I've got to try and remember where all the chests are. Eh, it doesn't look like there's much going on in here. Oh, I know there's a ch I'm sure there's a chest up in that big epic. Uh, ladder place. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's the dock as well. Hang on a minute. Wait a minute. Wait just one cotton picking damn minute. I think there's a chest up here. have a little look. Yeah, there's one. So we've got one more chest to find. You received magic droplets times two. Excellent. Hey, guys, I hear you're going to try an island to pick up moonstones. To get to the island, you need to sail straight north of here, but be careful. There's all sorts of monsters out there. One more thing. Not only are there moonstones in this world, there are things called moonberries. They contain a lot of power. By eating some, you will actually get stronger. If you go to your status screen and select super moves, you can learn new techniques. Yeah, uh, cheers, pal. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm sure there's something up there. Going up. Uh, I will save you guys the journey. And there is our last chest. Excellent. Who's up here? Ben the Lookout. This is Lookout Island. We take turns standing guard. Here to see if any suspicious ships might be approaching. It gets cold early in the morning. And that can be tough. But it's all part of the job, I guess. You just have to sort of accept it. Indeed. Right. See you on the other side, guys. Right, let's go get our ship. Now we have all of the chests. Well, I mean, it's not much, but uh, I guess it's all we have. So, let's go. Have a little bit of an exploration. I like this little ship, to be honest. And I really do like the whole steampunk kind of uh, vibe that this game gives off. It's really nice. Now, is there a discovery around here? Possibly. Uh, we, can, uh, we can get these fish. Definitely worth... Where's those fish gone? Definitely worth... Um, Grabbing fish when you can, because there is actually a unique title um, for getting a thousand fish. That's obviously a lot, though. So I'll be doing most of that off camera. I'm sure. Okay, maybe there isn't a discovery here. I thought there was. All right, to Shine Island or Shrine Island, I guess. That's the way we came from. There's a map here somewhere. Ira Island. Yeah, I think we're going this way. Shrine Island isn't actually that far away from where we are. 
I don't know whether to cut the battles out. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we've seen these guys, so I think we'll just go for it for now. If we get too many battles, I'll start cutting them out. Let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll put it to my Discord. These things aren't too much to worry about. Come on, you bastard. Gastling, eh? Now, obviously, there are elemental effects on our weapons, but for the, it doesn't really matter that much unless you're fighting something really powerful. Okay. 8 XP for that. Nice. We'll take it. Now, Shrine Island. Guessing it's this way somewhere. There it is. Shrine Island Ho. You know, for its time, this was a really freaking pretty game as well. Really pretty. And let's just depart. Vase, look over there. Look at the size of that hole. Yeah, that's a big one, all right. The moonstone must have caused that. It must be huge. Ica, look. Water is flowing into the shrine. In the old world, this island was a sacred place. These ruins used to be some sort of temple. Nobody's been here for generations. Yeah, I've heard stories about this place too. I've heard that there are monsters crawling around inside. But moonstones that big are rare. We've got to go in and get it. Uh, you know how I can't pass up a treasure hunt. Besides, how bad could it possibly be? You're right. We're going treasure hunting. Let's go. Let's hit the old save point here. Because, you know, saving you. Uh, we're going to save here. Now, this is uh, an area that we can always come back to. So, it's not a huge end of the world scenario. Um, we are going to keep our little eyes peeled for chests, though. Okay. Now, I did print out, um, or I did find a guide for all of the chests, but it's for the Dreamcast version. Uh, and also, Chris has just sent me, uh, or the uh, Games Librarian, I should say, has just sent me a list of all the chests as well. But I don't know if there's extra in this version. I guess we'll find out. Look at that. It still holds up really nice. This is just great. The place is flooded. Ica, look! The moonstone! It's at the bottom! Wow, it's so bright! That moonstone must be huge! So, Vase, how did you plan on getting it out there? The water is getting pretty deep. Ah, uh, right, what will we do? We can swim, or we will find... I don't think this is important, actually. Uh, eh, 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 eh. Yeah, there isn't actually. Doesn't matter which one we choose here. We're going to try and find a way to drain the water anyway. Let's try and drain the water from this place. That way we can carry the moonstone out of here. Well, considering that I can't swim, I like that plan better. But there's still one problem. How are we supposed to drain all of this water anyway? Hey, Vase, look over there. There's a door over there. Maybe if we can find a way to open it, we can drain the water out of this place. Hmm. You might be right. We'll use the doors as drains. Alright. Let's go. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Okay, so we're going to use the doors as drains. Cool. Let's see what kind of monsters we have in here. There's also a monster that drops a, a weapon. Or Ica. Uh, thanks to Chris for letting me know. We haven't encountered it yet, though. And the drop rate is 4%, so that's really freaking low. Um, it's not that, it's not that, and it's not that. Right, let's all go for this thing. Got the looper as well. Wow, the looper does a significant amount of damage, actually. That also was not great. Ah, oh, and she's 
is she asleep? God damn it. Dude. Don't put Ika to sleep. Ika, wakey wakey. No time for that. Critical hit from the looper. Great. Oh, come on, FaZe. Right, he's gone. Let's go work on the water snake thing. I should have gone to work on the water snake thing. Miss? Man, those loopers are hard. Pyre, this is going to hurt. This is really going to hurt. Yeah, that sucked. Yeah, you better get out of here, dude. Uh, you know what? Cutlass Fury on the looper. Uh, you can't use Sacri, can you? You know what? Just focus. Oh, hang on. What have I done? You, special move, Cutlass Fury, looper. Uh, you can guard. Ah, oh, run away anyway. Son of a bitch. Yeah, that was... Yeah, that was not great, I'm going to be honest. Close to leveling. What have we got? Noxie. What does Noxie do? Let's have a look. Uh, Ica. Let's have a little look. You can use some items, actually. Sacri crystals. Ah. So we can actually eat these scar, uh, Sky Sardis. All oh, right, they literally give you one health. That's kind of shit. Uh, you do get better fish that give you better uh, amounts of health and stuff later on, I'm pretty sure. Um, right, let's give you one of those and then you one of those. Probably should have brought some items before coming over here, but hey. It is what it is. We'll be fine. We should find some goodies anyway. Uh, ooh, this is one of the areas where we can return to. Because there are some areas in this game that you can't return to. Let's use Pyre. Uh, An attack, I guess. Uh, unless they're all going to run away. They're not. Oh, Pyre doesn't affect them, does it? Fuck. That was stupid. These loopers, man. Yeah, you better run, you little bitch. Oh, she hit it. Nice one, Ika. At least we got some XP. Was it was easy, because they ran away. Wow, we get 6 XP for each one of those. That's not bad. And we got Sakri too. Cool. Alright, we'll take it. Let's keep going. Looks like we have our first door. Which apparently leads us to a crystal. Which does something. Ooh. It sinks. Makes us sink, apparently. Not sure how productive that was. Okay, well, I mean, fine. I'm sure that's fine. Okay. Let's keep... Ch ah, look, there's a chest. Hey, we've got some more sacred crystals. Excellent. So, can we flick that switch again? We can't. And I'm guessing... How do we get into first person? Don't think we... Uh, I don't think we can get into first person there. Okay. So that just leads straight back out to the save spot anyway. So that's fine. Uh, right. So we're in a bit of a situation here. Ah. Let's light all the rings, I guess. See what that does. It's got to do something productive, right? What exactly that's going to do that's productive, I don't know. But we're going to find out. 
maybe this will evaporate the water or something. Uh, this is going to be a little bit more of an interesting battle, isn't it? Let's use Pyre. That should at least worm out some of them. Hey, nice, Psyker. Yeah, he's going to inflict nasty damage to us. Ow. That really is quite rough. Nice. Ooh, that. Ah, oh, jeez, that hurt. Dude. Boys, give me yeah, hopefully this is going to hurt. Yeah. Okay. That actually played out quite nicely. Uh, Vase, you're okay for now. That's a Seeker. Uh, go for the Loop Riker. Ooh, dude. Oh, beautiful counter-attack there. Although... Yeah... That wasn't exactly great. Just, just gonna put it out there. One damage. One damage. Oh, dude. We need to... Use something. A little bit more. What does Noxie do? I have no idea. Let's use Pyre. Let's try and flame this guy. That worked. Now, I don't know if we have anything to bring Vase back. Unless he just, you know, gets up afterwards. Wow, we got a lot of gold from that. Unfortunately, Vase doesn't get anything because he was knocked out. What? Oh, yeah, he comes back with one health. Dude, that was not great. That was really not that brilliant. Right, let's get these guys healed up a little bit. Alright, we definitely don't want to get too many more of those. Okay. So, we've lit all of the lights so far. But we need... Ah, I'm guessing we might be able to go outside and come in through a different way. Uh-oh. Got these things again. Uh, Ica, go for some magic. Give him a pyre. Burn them all. Yeah, happy with that. Definitely happy with that. Nice. Needed to get rid of that seeker. Yeah, get out of here, you bum. That wasn't so bad. No. No, it was not. Wow, 23 XP. Nice. Not bad at all. And a cure crystal. You're getting a lot of gold as well. You'll notice that it really doesn't take that long to start building up gold at all. Right, here we are. We can go through here now. Not bad. Ah. Ooh, hey, dude. Ah, right. That fish. From what I can understand, this fish... Uh, that is the thing that can drop Ica a new weapon. But, like I say, the drop rate is 4%. So, we only need to fight a lot of them. I mean a lot of them. So, potentially what I might do, because we're on 30 minutes, I might see if I can farm these guys for a little while. Maybe, just to get that uh, new weapon for her. I'm not sure how worth it, it actually is. I mean, it's early on. But hey, you know, an extra weapon is an extra weapon, right? And if not, we'll grind out some levels. Oh, a bit of a waste of a critical hit there. But a 4% drop is pretty savage. 
Ooh, that hurts. I like the whole flying fish thing. See, I love the universe in this game. It's so cool. The whole sky pirates angle. Really badass. Ow, dude, those fish hurt. Oh, they hurt. Yep, we're going to need to heal. How much energy do we actually have? Oh, we got plenty. Let's go for Cutlass Fury on the fish and magic. Let's go for a Sacri on base. Definitely need to get. There we go. Nice. Full restore. Take that. Turn you into sushi. Ooh, yeah, that warms his arsehole just a little bit. You're done. Oh, no, you got, like, a slither of health left. That's bullshit. Eerie whale. Damn, that hurts. Okay, let's just keep wailing on you. Ooh, even your bite hurts, but that's not exactly surprising. Yeah, he's done. <laughs> little jab with the tentacle there. Bitch. Get out of here. No. Could have been worse. Definitely could have been worse. You could have died again. Uh, we didn't get anything that time. Right, well, let's keep going. Like I say, after we've done this, I might come back and try and grind out her weapon. Maybe. Oh, let's go for magic. Let's go for a pyre. Yeah, definitely go for a pyre. See if we can just waste all of these guys. Moons, give me strength. You're gonna have a lot of enemies at once. Wow, that didn't actually do a huge amount. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. Oh, critical. It's not great. Just just gonna say that's not great. Vise might bite the dust again. Maybe. Uh, let's go for some magic. Let's get some pyre action going on. And you know what? Magic. Let's heal Vase up a bit, shall we? Vise, Vase, whatever. Potato, potato. Yeah, that was bad. These guys are kind of kicking our ass. Moons, give me strength. Burn. Stupid fish snail things. Nautilus looking bastards. Right, let's finish them off. Nice. Not bad. Ooh. Have a slice of that. Nice. Okay. We definitely feel kind of underleveled for this. We won! We won! Of course we won, Ica. 24 XP. Not bad. We almost got a level out of that. Incrum. Okay. What's our health like? Health's okay. MP, actually. That's... Oh, God. MP is not exactly fantastic. Might be worth chugging down some crystals. Although those crystals only give us one MP. It's not a lot. But, you know, luckily we don't need much. Can we go inside? Doesn't look like it. Ah, more of these Nautilus bastards. Right, I guess... Just gonna have to try and cut our way through them because otherwise we're just gonna. Ah, you dick! We're just gonna use too much magic. But still, experience. I will say, leveling up in this game, you do get significantly stronger. It is quite a, a jump every time. 
you also get to the point where you're really, um, you know, your your evasion stat gets quite high too, especially on lower level stuff. Are oh, you bastard? Luckily, every time we level, we do get more mana. There's mana and uh, special powers in this game, special moves, is where it's at. See how how quickly you can get chipped down. They seem to really be focusing on vines at the moment. If we get too much more damage, we might have to break out the uh, the spells. Yes, that's what we're talking about. That hurts. I like the way the enemies do react to getting hurt as well. Nice. Keep chipping away. Probably should have aimed at the one that was already injured, but whatever. Wait, did you guys just pick random targets? That's not good. I'll take it, though. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to heal. Oof. Right, okay. Yeah, that's going very badly. Um... You know what? Ooh, we've got that now. Need to read out what that does. Alright, you can go for that. Magic, we will... Get Vase some healing. Definitely needed that. Hopefully, this should take them all out. Yes. Perfect. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it gets to the point where we didn't have to worry about running out of MP. Oof. Level up. Nice. That'll do. Right, let's get some more MP. Because we've got... Oh, phase has got none. Okay, items. How many do we have? Magic droplets. Oof, not many. There we go. Well, smoke them if you got them, I guess. Alright. So, nothing we can do here. Let's keep going. There's a chest. We do like our chests. Might want to get out of the way, guys. Oof. I love that. It's so cool. All that water pressure. Dude. That's so satisfying. Okay. Now, we should be able to go over here. And get that chest. Hopefully it's got some drops in it. Where are we at? Yeah, this way around, I guess. Nice. Moonberry. Okay. Well, not quite what we wanted, but we'll take it. Dude, we're on like 40 minutes. Ah, oh, nice. Uh, let's go for some magic. Oh, I don't know, actually. Uh, let's just fight. Yeah, we should be okay just fighting these things. They're probably going to do some decent damage to us, but that's okay. We'll be able to use Cutlass Fury and all that stuff. Really don't want to uh, bleed out all of our magic. Because no doubt there's going to be a boss at the end. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, that hurts. Weevely. Yeah, that hurts too. Yeah, ow. Thanks, Groda. Probably should have healed. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I think we probably... No, that's fine. He's going to attack base. One down. One down, one to go. Cutlass Fury. You. 
Uh, I guess we'll pop another crystal. Let's try this. Nice. Much better. Alright, kick him. Kick him in the nuts. Do they have nuts? Probably have space nuts. Ooh, yes. 200 damage nearly. We'll take it. Right. Ha ha ha, countered. Now I wonder if we're actually going to get lucky. Will we get lucky with the drop? That wasn't so bad, dude. That was pretty touch and go there for a minute. Nope. We got nothing. Because of course we didn't. Alright, let's get back inside. Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, for now, we're going to leave this video here. Because uh, we're already on, like, 40 minutes somehow. Not really sure how that's <laughs> how that happened, but there we go. Anyway, when we come back, we're going to finish this temple. So, thank you very much for watching, and as always, till next time.